So what we got here is our production farm here at Mount Zion Elementary. So we've got 30 beds, about to double them uh, to 60 beds. We're growing different types of vegetables and fruits that uh, right now grow in the autumn and winter seasons. And if you look really closely, you can see some little beet, little beet roots popping out of the ground and that's how you know they're ready. Um, and then we've also got mustard greens here, rutabaga growing here, turnips back there, Swiss chard, spinach and carrots and dill. Um, in here we've got onions and garlic. This is more kale right here. Two types of kale. This is red Russian kale and dwarf blue kale. Um, arugula got over there, different types of lettuce. More arugula and our carrots which are finally coming in. They like the cold weather. But these are uh, what will be our water catchment system. They're called cisterns and we're going to be catching the rainwater that comes off of the roof of Mount Zion Primary School. Uh, holding it in these humongous tubs and then feeding it through underground pipes using gravity to directly on top of the plants. Uh, where, so it's a really efficient way of conserving water and watering our plants at the same time. So all these plants, I'm, uh, we grow and harvest them and then get them to the kids with the, with the help of uh, Drew High School Culinary Arts. They're chopping it up, making it really easy to eat, easy to bring home for the kids. Hopefully in the future, it'll be going straight through the cafeteria. I'm out today with a few of my students from our student organization called HOSA, that's Health Occupation Students of America. I reached out to Mr. Quintez Gurndy from Kaiser Permanente to look for volunteer opportunities for my students and also to um, form an alliance with Kaiser Permanente. Mr. Gurney was awesome with returning my call and he came over and met with me. He told me about the garden project. The students came out in October and helped to volunteer with the, um, some of the initial ground, groundbreaking efforts here. Um, at that time, we did also have the ROTC from our school bring out probably about 25 or 30 um, students from their organization. Along with HOSA, we brought about 17 students. Um, so today from HOSA, we have a lighter crowd. I think the weather scared some students away. But it's been great, it's mild, hasn't been too cold, and we've been enjoying ourselves out here. Hi, my name is Sang, and I'm here today at uh, Mount Zion Elementary to work on our garden project for Kaiser Permanente. Um, and we're here, we just, we've been filling up mulch and taking it back here and filling in um, throughout the gardens. Right now we're basically laying down the um, cardboard to cover up most of the grass, that way the wheat won't grow up. And we're laying on top of the mulch to cover it up even more. Earlier, I came nine o'clock, I was helping out upstairs of Mount Zion Primary with digging and stuff. And now I'm at Mount Zion Elementary with the garden. I'm honored and thrilled to be able to help provide food for families who can't afford to get food or who can't get it at this time. It's a really big, it's a, it's a really exciting experience. Last time we were here, I worked up at the behind the Mount Zion Primary School and they're doing the same thing except there's no vegetables there up yet. So this area is what will soon become our learning garden. What we've got is we're on the primary school side of Mount Zion uh, Primary School and we have this beautiful path we're working on coming straight from the center of the school to this circular patio area which um, we are almost done constructing. We've got a retaining wall so we're going to berm up uh, some soil and grow, um, grow plants coming, coming down from this retaining wall. Uh, kids will be able to sit on the side of the wall and we're going to have a chalkboard so teachers or I could teach lessons outside and have the kids uh, get to sit outside, be comfortable but still be in a garden. Um, and then so all along the sides of this outdoor classroom we're going to have different scenes, maybe so different types of grasses, different native plants, some tropical plants. Basically the goal for this area is less for the production of lots of food, but more for creativity and uh, expanding the kids' minds, 
experiencing different tastes and smells and textures and colors, understanding all the possibilities that gardening can provide more so than just growing food. They're making a garden, but they're also trying to make it an outdoor class so the um, students can see what's going on outside and what to eat healthy, almost like another health class for them. I think that this is really helpful for the kids because it's, um, it promotes them that they, want, they can eat more greens and I think that's like the best thing. I recently joined HOSA this week and I thought it was a good idea to come volunteer because it is very good on your college application. You know, I love to help my community here and I, I also did a little community service downtown a couple weeks ago back. Yeah, and I just love helping out. And also, like, every time I get tired, I just start thinking about all the people, like, who are starving and the fact that I get to change that, have an impact on the people who are suffering in my uh, county, in my surroundings, is just a phenomenal experience that I'm really excited for.